We pray. But Our people at the call to action meeting were hoping to change more than just the woman's role in the church. We ran into another group at that meeting that challenges the Vatican on yet another thorny issue. Priests who decide to marry. The group is called Rent-A-Priest. Rent-A-Priest? What in the world is Rent-A-Priest? Rent-A-Priest is a ministry for Catholics who either cannot find a priest or have been turned away from the church. We're offering married priests to Catholics throughout the United States and throughout the world. Louise Haggett runs Rent-A-Priest. She chose the name to attract attention, she says. The service, incidentally, is free. Why does it have to be a married priest? Because we have a tremendous shortage of priests in the United States. 20,000 priests have left the priesthood in the last 20 years. Nine out of 10 to get married. Uh, Nine out of 10 who have left? Yes. Really, John? Exactly. Is I'm that one that? of those 20,000. John Schuster had been a priest for 13 years when he decided to get married, and he knew he had to resign. But a thousand years ago, Catholic priests were permitted to marry. There were even married popes. But then the rules were changed. If you were going to leave and marry, you can no longer function as a priest. But if you were to undertake to marry a Catholic couple, would it really be a legitimate marriage in Catholicism? Uh, no, the church would not accept that. But there is such a lack of priests out there. People would rather have a married priest than no priest at all. The reason Pope John Paul insists that priests should not be married is his conviction that the church is best served by single priests who can devote themselves entirely to God's work. But that's not how the people at Call to Action see it. John Paul dislikes perfect people. What do you mean he likes perfect people? Well, he doesn't like divorced Catholics. He doesn't like people who have practiced birth control. He certainly doesn't like anyone who's had an abortion. He doesn't like gays. Gee, that doesn't leave too many, too many people in the church. Yes. The Pope's tough moral stand, say his defenders, is not just a personal whim of John Paul. His duty is to uphold the fundamental teachings of his church. And he's determined not to change or water down those rules just because a lot of so-called modern Catholics may find them inconvenient. But there's no denying that for many American Catholics, those teachings have lost their appeal. 27 million Americans no longer attend Catholic Church. They're going somewhere. They need something. What's been the reaction of the American hierarchy to rent a priest? I have never received anything critical from any bishop in the United States. Really? Right. They're letting it happen, Mike. I believe that rent a priest is the declaration of independence for American Catholics.